Well, what do we have going on today, guys? Uh, I know a lot of you are waiting for the the versatile video. You can see the versatile is not in here, but you can see what my dad's doing here. These are uh, the hubs from our walking floor. You can see the the new hubs and drums there. Uh, he's doing a brake job on the semi. Um, you can see that uh, the old ones are spoke rims or hubs. <clears throat> so they got uh, the rims with uh, a big hole in them and you got to they get uh, held in place with uh, like wedges or whatever and they kind of wedge the wheel in there and hold it. He's converting it over to uh, I guess it's a bud type wheel I believe is what they call them. Where you just slide them on and bolt them down. So much easier than uh, the spoke wheels. You got to turn them and torque them, turn them and torque them and until they uh, run true. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you've probably seen the the semis going down the road with these spoke wheels, and the wheels are wobbling. That's because the guy didn't uh, tighten them down right. Um, it takes some time to get these spoke wheels to run true. Um, anyway, he's Dad built a, a seal puller to pull these big seals out of here. And uh, once I get the, the bearings out of here, I want to show you how big them are. The bearings are huge. Um, show you how his tool works too, that he made. Pull these out. He just made that, welded it up. I think he says it's working pretty good, so show you that. I guess I can go out and show you the semi, what it looks like with no hubs on it. So there's the semi with no hubs, no rims. Other side's off too. Here's the rims for the spokes. Spacers that go between the rims. Not gonna need them anymore because uh, these uh, these rims here, you just sandwich them together. No spacers, no nothing. Like I said, you just slap them on, bolt them down. But I'll see if I can't get a little video of uh, Dad putting this together. And I'm sure some of you have never seen a uh, semi trailer hubs and stuff pulled apart. And uh, I don't know if you, these, uh, pads here and just for my hand I don't have a I don't have a huge hand but you can see how huge these things are everything on semis are huge everything's amplified so I guess that's what we got today to show you got uh, something here that's pretty nice you see that? Made in the USA. That's always good to see. Do the pulling. And 
what's the tool cost to do that? You got to buy it. Oh, $110. But I didn't have time to order it. What are you doing? There it is. These bearings are huge. Absolutely humongous. I'm not exactly sure that's 80, 90 in there, but they're 75, 90. I might but it's thick stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's dripping. But guess what? We need to figure out oh something to pound this with.
supposed to be able to hear a Well, you can see the hubs are on. I helped Dad get them on. We got uh, three tires waiting on rims. Should be here midweek, I guess. So we're just waiting on them. Dad's got all the bearings torqued down and all the lock nuts on, so covers are on so we're really just waiting on uh, on the rims he's got all the brakes adjusted so should be uh, just a matter of bolting on the rest of the rims and tires and uh, letting her off the jack and uh, we should be back in business <laughs> 